guys welcome to my channel vinyl beauty welcome back i'm debbie if you don't know me so for today's video i'm going to be trying out a new to me indie brand it's necromancy cosmetica which is a gothic indie brand from puerto rico and we're going to be trying out one of their palettes which is the gothic romance palette i've got both of their palettes so i placed an order for both of them so i'm going to talk a little bit about the brand show you both the palettes up close and then we're going to use this one to create a look because this one speaks to me more but they're both beautiful so without further ado i'm going to bring you in closer and give you a lot more information and show you the palettes and start creating a look with the gothic romance palette <laughs> Okay, really excited about this because I've not seen too many people covering this brand, certainly not in the sort of circle of people that I watch anyway. But I saw Jenna from the Instagram page Goth Adjacent playing with the Gothic Romance palette. And I was just sold when I saw it. I love her page on Instagram anyway, and I just love the looks that she creates. So I will link her so that you can check that out. But but yeah, she was playing with the Gothic Romance palette, and it's just such a cool concept. So this is the palette. So I'll get a lipstick so that you can see the difference in size, the lipstick I'm going to use today. But basically, that's how small the palette is. It is just like practically lipstick sized. And it's just such a cool concept. So it looks like a spine of a book on the outside. And then, yeah, like that's all the pages of the book. Then when you take it out of the sleeve, you've got a mirror on the front with the brand name on it and some artwork. And then you can take the mirror off and you've got more artwork there. And then it opens like this, like a sort of concertina and it makes a palette. So you can open it just one side or the other or just open the entire thing. And it's just the most beautiful colour story. It's mainly matte. There's only one shimmer shade, which is the gold shade called Candlelight. The rest of it's matte, but just beautiful colours. On the back of the palette, there's just some beautiful artwork as well. So the shades are magnetised, it's all cardboard, so it's eco-friendly. Um, yeah, just a really amazing concept, I think, for something that's so small, because we've all got these massive eyeshadow palettes now in our collections that are difficult to store. This is when you could just pop in your, your handbag and take it everywhere with you, really. It's just, as I say, really tiny, really cute. Now the brand themselves are, as I say, based in Puerto Rico. They have a shop, so you can visit there if you're in Puerto Rico, but they ship internationally. And the shipping was super fast. I got this in two weeks, which I was a little bit skeptical. I'm like, I've not really heard many people buying from this brand. Is it gonna be okay to get to the UK? But it came quicker than most palettes from the US come to me, to be fair. And the shipping wasn't too, too expensive either. They had a discount on this particular palette at the time, which did help. Uh, I'll put a pinned comment or something in my description box just to say what I, what I paid and what the shipping cost was at the time, because I can't fully remember offhand. They also run a charity for rehoming stray cats as well. I think it's Cats of Necromancy. But when you buy the palette, you can make a donation to that as well, which I did. The other palette that they have is the Swamp of Sorrows. Now this one is newer. Uh, I will play with this one. I might make a dedicated video with this one as well. Same concept. Both of them have got the, the date of like the year that they came out as well on the back. So this is the Swamp of Sorrows. A lot more grungy tones in this one. A lot more of an autumnal vibe to it but super beautiful and I've seen a lot of looks on Necromancy's page where they've used this to kind of sculpt the face as well as creating eyeshadow looks so you know with the warm orange or the okra kind of yellow shade there. I love on both of the palettes how it looks almost like picture frames around the names that are underneath the shades just super gorgeous. The back of that one again has got gorgeous artwork and again this one is all matte apart from just one of the shades and I prefer a matte heavy palette and so yeah super excited so without further ado I'm going to create a look with the gothic romance palette okay so to start off the look if you guys know me at all you'll know how much I love red eyeshadow I can't resist using the red so we're going to use this shade infatuation all over the lid and velvet thorns to kind of deepen up and go into the crease we're going to start that way I'm also going to do a shadow wing with the blue grey shade on the other side so this shade here penumbra 
because they do look quite pigmented. I think we'll get away with using that as a shadow wing. So super excited to get started. So I've already primed my eyes with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going into Infatuation. There's a small amount of kick up in the pan, but really not too bad at all. And I'm excited already because that is a true red. So what I find really disappointing in a lot of palettes that claim to have a matte red is they have a, a matte red pink and there's not very many true red mattes out there that impress me I love plus from sugar peel is a true red I've got some other reds in palettes but there's not many as I say that that ring a true red like this this is absolutely beautiful I want to pack that in my, or on my lid and into my crease a bit. It's a long time since I did a predominantly matte look. These are going on super smooth and opaque. That is really impressive and I've got no fallout whatsoever. Next I'm going to go into Velvet Thorns. This might be a bit more pinky because this is more of like a burgundy, plummy sort of shade, but I'm going to take that in my crease. Tapped off my brush with that one, just to make sure, because that is quite a dark colour that they don't get it everywhere. These are the sort of mattes I like, where there is a bit of kick up in the pan, but they're super pigmented right off the bat. That's so rich and vibrant and beautiful, isn't it? So I'm just taking that in a rounded shape. Not doing anything on the lower lash line yet, because I want to do a shadow wing but connect it to the lower lash line. At the moment I'm packing more than I'm blending. I'm using a blending brush but I'm placing the colour rather than blending it out at the moment. And now I have the level of pigment that I want, I'm just going to kind of diffuse the edges a little bit. You want to see a really good video on this, I can recommend Jessica Mirror and Haze, Mirrors and Haze. I used her code, you get 10% off using the code Haze, but she did an incredible look with the palette using the darker shades, Penumbra and Melancholy. So to blend this out further, there's a couple of routes we could go, I think. We could go with Wilted Roses, beautiful shade, or we could go with Phantasma. I think I'm just going to go with Phantasma because I don't want to turn things too pink. So I'm just going to use that just to further diffuse just around the edges here. Using a very flexible brush now. Just want to go in and pack a bit more of infatuation on the lid, make sure that's super, super opaque in the look. I'm going to go in with a grey pencil in my waterline. This is Grey Core by LH Cosmetics. On the lower lash line, I'm going to take Penumbra and blend out all under and then make a bit of a shadow wing and connect to the upper lash line. So I'm just running that along the lower lash. I'm going to keep this really dark and smoky so I'm not going to blend it out too much. I'm almost packing it on, keep it really pigmented there. Now that I've packed that on I'm just going to blend very lightly underneath. Just using the brush that we use the buff blending shade on. Now I also want to use Penumbra to create a bit of a wing coming out from this line here and connect back onto my upper lash. I'm going to use a flat definer to create the shape and I'm going from the line that I've created on the lower lash line here. That's probably as far out as I want to go. And then joining that up with the upper lash line. I might need to just close my eyes just to be able to get that to meet up. Now we've got the overall shape for that wing, just going to fill it in. And see how super pigmented that is, that's covering that red shade. That's impressive. 
For the inner corner we're going to use candlelight. That shade's super pretty. It's a perfect kind of gothy colour, like the perfect name for it as well, like romantic candlelight. It's still quite dark. I love that. Wouldn't be bright enough for an inner corner for a lot of people, but I love that. So, so pretty. Okay, so that's the look to this point. Just gonna hop off camera for mascara and a lip, and I'll be back with you with the finished look and my wrap up of my thoughts on the palette. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I just adore how this looks. That red on the lids is just beautiful and I thought I really wanted to pair it with a red lip as well and really make a statement. So I've gone in with a Colourpop and Sapphire Nygaard lipstick. This one's in the shade Fred. No longer available anymore. This is just such a fabulous lipstick. The whole set of these were amazing. But having said that, Necromancy have lipsticks and I don't know whether you'll be able to see this too well on camera but they have some really really interesting shades so they pop this in with the palette showing you the shades of the lipstick now I did try and order some lipsticks when I made my order uh, I started to order the two palettes went to check out everything was fine it added on the shipping allowed me to do it and then I thought I fancy buying a couple of lipsticks as well after watching Jessica Hayes's video went back in added a couple of lipsticks and then it said we don't ship to your country so I was like, what's going on here? So I took the palettes out, just put the lipsticks in, still didn't ship to my country. Took the lipsticks out, put the palettes back, they do. So I don't know what's going on with that. I probably should have reached out to the brand because I'm super sad there's some beautiful colours, really unusual kind of gothy colours that I'm all about. So, so yeah, and they're well known for their lipsticks. And the lipsticks are in like a cardboard packaging, like the packaging of the lipstick that you wind up is cardboard at the bottom so they're all about sustainability and being eco-friendly which I, I think is just amazing so the little palette then well it's adorable isn't it I mean the mirror I doubt I would use too much but I think it is a nice touch to have you could touch up your lipstick using that but I just love the artwork on it I just think it's beautiful I love the way that it opens I mean that's just so unusual so unique the shades themselves are so, so pigmented. And I did get a tiny speck of fallout from the red, but I was really packing that on. And it's a true red, which as I say, they're not that easy to find. You'd think they would be, but a lot of them turn pink on the eyes and this really hasn't. It's only looking pink in the crease because I've used Velvet Thorns in the crease, which is a lot more of a pinky shade. My only critique would be, and I think other people have said this that have reviewed the palette, is that the shade Penumbra, this one here, and the shade Melancholy, which is this one here, are very similar. Melancholy is a lot more blue, I suppose, and Penumbra is more grey based, but on the eyes, I don't know how different they'll be. I mean, I don't know, because I've not tried them, but just looking at it in the pan, I would say those are pretty similar. And if I was designing the palette, I would have probably took Melancholy out, because I'm not a big fan of blue anyway, prefer the grey blue, and I would have put a uh, deep forest green in there because you've got green on the artwork of the palette so it would have fitted with that I just love a emerald forest deep green matte and you don't find many of those in palettes so that would have been nice but other than that I love the way that the mattes perform the shimmer is a traditional shimmer you guys know I love those <laughs> so it's just a normal shimmer there's nothing kind of reflective and special about it it's smooth and it applied nicely and I can tell it's not going to hard pan as well which is always a thing for me so yeah really happy I bought this I can't wait to try the Swamp of Sorrows palette as well I just think they're doing something a bit different that you don't see brands do every day and the makeup market is so saturated so it's nice to see just something different isn't it something a bit creative and a bit special and that's what I think this brand is offering so hope you've enjoyed seeing it and you'll have to let me know are you interested in seeing the Swamp of Sorrows I don't want to keep doing videos that are like reviews of palettes really I like to do lots of different things but I could probably just incorporate it in a get ready with me so I think that's probably what I'll do to try that one out because it's got some beautiful shades in there and I want to try out some of the shades as blush as well. So that's all I've got for you for this one. You'll have to let me know if you're interested in picking anything up from the brand. As I say, I'll link them below and I'll link Jessica's video and her code 
so that you can save 10% if you want to. And yeah, that's all I've got for you today. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope you might consider subscribing before you go. But other than that, I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>